you guys, welcome back to She Knows. We're here with Jenny Slate and we are going to play Celeb 101 rapid fire question. Yes. Ready? <laughs> yes, I'm really ready. I'm okay. really excited, I love games. Let's Good. do this. All right. Okay, let's go. Okay, right. let's okay. do it. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay, what is the best part of working in the entertainment industry? Um, um, meeting nice people who put makeup on your face. Oh, cool. What is the creepiest part about working in the entertainment industry? Uh, all of the people who like pull up your underpants and like make sure your boobs are taped. <laughs> are those the people that put makeup on your face? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, what makes you cry? Oh, um, when old people uh, are in love. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And when they fall for me. Yeah. Sad. Um, do you think the Illuminati exists? Um, yeah. If you could live in another time period, which one would it be and why? Ooh, um, I would live in uh, the 1930s mm -hmm. because I really liked how the women dressed yeah. and I liked the music and I liked the party culture. But in the United States, not in Europe because that was bad for We all know what happened there. Yeah. Um, the bathing suits too, those things are, and coming Bath back. Bathing Coming in hot. Mm -hmm. All right, um, what is one thing that annoys you without fail? Uh, when people mean to com compliment you and they say, you know, you're actually really funny in this. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a bummer, not a compliment. <laughs> that's what we call a backhanded compliment. Yeah. Idiots. Um, <laughs> what is one trend you would love to disappear? Oh, uh, um, what is one trend that I would love to disappear? I guess those embroidered shirts that men wear. Oh, what? Like dragon shirts, oh, you know what like I mean? Oh, like Affliction, yeah. Ed Hardy, not to say a name. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't love it. Agree with you. Um, what is one trend you would love to make a comeback? Oh, um, uh, women wearing ties. Yeah, that's cool. What is your opinion on Photoshop? If you want it, go for it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Um, who has, who is your doppelganger? Who have you been told is your doppelganger? Um, Tyra Banks. Yeah, that's perfect. I Thank totally you see so it. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. You're, yeah, okay. Would you ever travel to outer space? No, ew, no, no, no. I don't, What if I'm Lady Gaga was on your flight? I don't care. What if Richard Branson came up to you and was like, Jenny? I'd be like, get a haircut. Oh. It's 2014. Okay. So <laughs> these are a couple of fan questions from my friend Duncan. We watch a lot oh, cool. of. So I was like, are they all from my grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of your work we watch. Um, so he asked, tormented children are nothing to laugh about. So I have to ask, how is Liz's niece Denise holding up? Will mm. we see more of her in season three of The Kroll Show? Denise Denise is doing well. Really? <laughs> yeah, you know, for someone who probably gets bullied a lot at school, I mean, mm -hmm. she is basically a reincarnation of me at that age. Except <laughs> I didn't have the long, long braid, but I, um, I mean, we're getting close. And sometimes it's, it kind of like breaks my heart a little bit to play the character, because I, I really get it. But um, she's doing well. You know, she's that kid that like recycles what her parents, like my parents were always like, look, school might be hard, but like when you're 30, all those girls that are mean are gonna be boring and you're gonna be cool. Right. And I think Denise is kind of like, well, at this point, you know, people are making fun of people. <laughs> when it all comes down to it, I'm an individual. You know, so she's like, she's like not having a fun time, but she's trying. Yeah, it's the last one um, from Duncan. Obviously getting to work with your husband must be the best. Do you see yourself doing more projects together like Catherine? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if we'll do another round of Catherine, um, which is our sort of avant-garde experimental web series that I, I'm very proud of. Um, but we have another Marcel the Shell book coming out in November. Yes. We're making another short. We have plans to make a feature film with music um, of Marcel. So a movie's coming? Hopefully. Or, okay. You know, beginning stages, and it takes a long time to make a movie, especially stop motion. And we have to get the money together and all of that, but I believe we will. Okay. We just have to get our act together. Yeah, maybe like throw a Kickstarter up there and I'll donate like all my money in my bank account. I don't, don't do that. That's girl. fine, anything what's for good for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is good for me. I watch him and I'm immediately happy. I don't want you showing up at my house like wearing bags and covered in dirt because you like gave all your money to the Marcel Shell movie. That's fine, that's fine. Because um, I was just wondering like what happens to his sister? Is she still traveling? Are we gonna see him hang glide on a Drita? Like, I don't know. We'll probably not ever meet his sister. I I think she's gone. Well, but she's traveling. Yeah, she's traveling. Okay. That's what he says to himself. Yeah. But um, he has a lot of neighbors, and um, in the book, you get to meet his grandmother. Oh, and um, 
You get to see that he lives in an apartment where there's a baby. Oh, and, baby um, shell. A uh, baby, baby. Oh, sh yeah. That's intense. Yeah. Um, yeah, lots of stuff. He has a best friend named Jerry who's oh. really congested and often blows himself off of like the couch <laughs> they're standing on when he sneezes. I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, well, you have a lot to look forward to from this lady. Mm -hmm. Keep checking back for more entertainment news.